so i moved out of my parents house yes i did at the age of 18. Mm. i don't know of you but i'm that child that i don't like staying in one place for such a long time we grow our needs change our desires change as we grow older there was a time in my life where i wanted to school in the university of Ilorin. And there was another time where I wanted to school in ABU and then my wants changed. So I need to change part time. I felt like I was stagnant. That was how I felt at that then. Do not get me wrong before you guys come for me in the comment section. Well, if you have been following me for a long time, you will know that <laughs> I love God and I'm passionate about doing the work of God and i am also that child that wants to discover her purpose and leave it out gracefully and basically die empty fulfilling my purpose i want to die at the time where i have finished fulfilling my purpose so when i graduated i kept asking god go what would you have me do and i know for for people it's quite different i remember when I was talking to God. I was like, God, what do you want me to do? And the, I was going through YouTube, you know, fresh out of school. I was going through YouTube and I saw a lot of people doing things. They were not really, the Christian channels were not as many as they are now that I found. There were just a lot of things going on on YouTube. And there was a burden in my heart to start. And I know that I've said this story. If you have been an OD, you know that I have said this story. And I have said it over and over again. I started going through YouTube. And I found out that not a lot of people were posting out Christian content. And that was where the body to create Christian videos. Encourage people on the space. And proclaim the gospel started becoming a passion for me and it was like a burning sensation in my heart just to start a youtube channel and also start social media and all so that was where the passion came from if you have not watched my q and a video maybe you should search for it and watch it you know why i started this channel so yeah i'm just telling you how i moved out <laughs> parents definitely parents will not want to allow their child to go <laughs> parents always like it when their child stays at home and so yeah i literally have a practical now like you guys can see 1 44 by my time but i'm going to talk to you guys i have practical by 2 p.m so i'm going to do this video regardless so my parents wanted me to actually just put the school put a uni very close to the house so that i do not get to stay far away from them but i didn't want that and i decided to pray to god knowing the will of god for you at every phase of your life is very important i decided to pray and talk to god about the whole situation and i was expecting an answer from god and <laughs> when you pray always listen for god's voice that's just our advice always know at what phase of your life god wants you to do and where he wants you to be at every phase so do not just carry your bag and move <laughs> always find out from god where he wants you to go because if you do not know where he wants you to go and you go where he did not send you you're gonna suffer my dear <laughs> So yeah, that was how I had to pray to God and I was at home. I was just there like for the first year, second year. I didn't even get admission. I applied the University of Illorin and I, I didn't get admission the second year. Um, I was talking to God about it and he, when I went to the jam office to register for for school i went to jam office to register for my school and i spoke to my my sister about it my cousin and she was like don't you have faith i picked that as a sign and i was like wow maybe it's god that is just telling me to believe in him he said you can put abu i was like what if abu does not give me the admission da, 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 da. she was like don't you have faith and that was like a sign for me <laughs> he just told me to trust god more 
and my parents didn't know about this mind you when i went to the jam office to register for the school i wanted to apply that for my jam my mom told me that you can call your uncle to ask him um if you can apply abu if they will give you like she was just saying that if you need advice you can just call call your uncle to ask him about the school and da 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 since his daughter was there so when i went i called him that was when i spoke to my sister by the time i got inside i just so my mom wasn't even sure that i was going to pick abu my mom wasn't sure i was going to pick zaria no nah. so and i went inside i just told them abu like i just told them abu my dad was not agreeing with the fact that i said abu when i came back home he said wow so you went to be you didn't see any school very close by and on my own i did not want to school in this i did not want to i wanted to move out i wanted to like discover my i just wanted to explore i wanted to see life <laughs> i wanted to experience life i wanted to travel i wanted to go like i really wanted to move out <laughs> so so that was it that was how i applied forgive the whatever god my hair is a mess jesus i need to be getting ready as i'm talking to you guys a minute after so much war with my parents they finally released me not serious war my parents are not that deep they are very understanding and that's one thing i loved about that's one thing i love about my parents very understanding and at first it was like da, 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 but they understood and supported my decisions get your parents that support your decisions so that was how i moved out and i came to abu first year second year i stayed in the hostel <laughs> really did want to do the youtube thing and so i'm here doing youtube i've been doing youtube and i'm still doing youtube but yeah god gave me another vision that is called the believer story where people and um, believers um will share their story on how god changed and transformed their lives from nothing to something and i'm happy interviewing a lot of people i'm happy doing that let me pack my hair a minute just so you know i don't look homeless after all <laughs> so basically the reason why i moved out is just so that i can create content as this and i'll create it with ease hostel is quite limiting sometimes when you even carry cameras in hostel it's just something else the yeah. and again just environment and host of others just basically i don't want trouble and so i moved out and it's been good yeah and the moral of the story is this like i said before i came here i had to, I had to ask god when i came to abu i was experiencing a lot of favors a lot of favors from different people and it, it was just like a sign that this is actually where god wants you to be and the fact that i came to zaria and i i connected to good churches it's just a very beautiful experience that i cannot even explain and god ordered my steps here in zaria i'm a member of father's delight and i have not regretted it even though i know it has not been so long that i joined the father's delight it has been a year <laughs> it has been a year a year of god's faithfulness and i have been experiencing my spiritual work has I know that I'm growing spiritually and I know that there were things that I did not know that I am now in the know. I have the understanding on them and I have the knowledge and so it's such a beautiful thing to connect to people, connect to places that encourage your spiritual growth and help you grow spiritually, help your faith work and it's so beautiful to see and I know that sometimes if you are not where god wants you to be at that particular phase of your life they will be struggling you are gonna struggle so and it's been a beautiful experience it's been five years <laughs> 
it's been five years i moved out five years ago i moved out five years ago and it's been god all the way and it's a beautiful team it's a beautiful experience and i know that god is going to increase me on all sides and i know that god's thoughts for me are thoughts of good and not of evil so if you are out there and hoping to move out of your parents house and you don't know how to go about it just ask god if if he really wants you to move out before you move out don't just move out because of moving out sake because you want your freedom even though as at then at the beginning you'll be like oh god i want my space i want i want my space i da 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 still ask god about it i do not want you moving out and struggling talk to god about it and he will guide you he will direct you i mean that's why we have the holy spirit because why would we have the holy spirit if why would god give us the holy spirit if we are not asking him for direction he's there to guide us is there to reveal things that we do not know to us and so yeah it's going to be beautiful if we talk to god about it and when you move into the place that god wants you to move into you discover that this is god's perfect will for me and things will work out smoothly I'm not saying that you will not go through challenges. There will be challenges. Of course, there will be challenges, but you will come out strong and you'll be fine. So, yeah.